Hey guys, what's up? Ross Don. Um, I'm not likely to be the sort of person that um, responds to other YouTube videos or um, feels that he needs to participate uh, in a sort of a direct means of conversation with people via this medium. I'd prefer to message them privately. But um, if I didn't think I had something to add, on top of something then you know i wouldn't have made this video what i recommend you do right now though is pause this there's going to be a video link in the description um and the title of the video is uh, a message to non-mra gamergate supporters by a youtuber by the name of uh, felfop returns so pause this video and go watch that one okay Three, two, one. Okay, so now you've watched the video, hopefully. Um, it's a short video, only 10 minutes. Um, and so, Felfop makes the point uh, to Gamergate supporters um, who are not already identified MRAs to consider aligning their uh their worldview and their <clears throat> their actions with um with mras and i don't want to piss on his fire um and i certainly don't want to align myself against a specific group of people but um he makes certain points in his videos um not sort of specifically but um and he he circles around what I feel is a fundamental failure of the men's rights movement, which is to quote unquote blame feminism for a lot of issues that men face. Um, I'm not a great subscriber of the all of the idea of the all encompassing terrifying patriarchy the third wave feminists are subscribing to, but I would not be afraid of the feminist label either. Um, I think people like Christina Hoff Summers, she's not scared of calling herself a feminist. Um, and many sort of detractors and sort of countercultural feminists certainly are attempting to reclaim the title as well. So um, I'm less inclined to place the blame about certain things directly on the shoulders of feminism. What I will say is that much of the perceived wrongs against men with regards to um, the statistical um, way that, you know, men don't do well in, in family court, that's understood. That's that's definitely true. Men just don't do well in family court. Um, and in certain other circumstances as well, the law um, is skewed in favor of women. The counterpoint to the reason why men don't do well in family court from the perspective of feminist activists is that women are seen as mothers as nurturers and caregivers, whereas men are seen to not be able to s satisfy that role. Um, I don't think that places uh, men, I don't think initially that was placed, placed men at a disadvantage. Basically what it was, was in order to, per to preserve the nuclear and typical sort of family structure, women were provided with care of the children and men were expected to continue to work obviously in 2015 the gender dynamics have changed um and it's a ridiculous system but a woman would argue or a feminist would argue that the reason that the family court system is skewed so heavily in favor of women and again they would even argue that the favor is not correct because it places women with the with the constant burden of childcare, and it relieves men of the burden of childcare, and places you know places them in their traditional gender role. Effectively, many could argue that the reason 
that the trial court system works the way it does is purely because of the rule of patriarchy. That's, I've seen it argued multiple times before. You might disagree with that. That's fine. I'm sure, you know, you, it's, it's one of those things where you can't really pin it down and you can't say for certain that this is absolutely true and that that's absolutely not. But I tend to sit in favor of feminism on this one. I think it's true that the reason women do get custody 90% of the time is because they're perceived as needing, as, as mothers, as more parental figures, because the patriarchy doesn't view men as nurturing individuals. A lot of sort of the structure of male society um, is really down to men wanting to shoulder the burden of the patriarchy. Um, I see that a lot. You know, this is the thing that, that I've always found irritating about a lot of the core mechanics of men's rights activism is it's a reactionary movement, or at least it appears to be a reactionary movement. In younger men perceived that, and they didn't actually tell you what, younger men didn't perceive, younger men saw, because I'm not going to lie, the current educational system dramatically favors uh, intense theoretical learning, which historically women have been, or girls have been better at. So over the last 20 years or so, um, men have fallen behind. That's absolutely true. But I would be remiss to blame this on feminism, and I would be more inclined to blame it on society at large, because quite frankly, humans do not seem to possess the ability to focus on more than one thing at once. From my own personal experience as a child in school, I went through the educational system at this period where women were being intensely told again and again and again that they were the ones that could do anything or be anything because the world had changed, and they just assumed the boys and men received that message automatically. The reality of the situation obviously was the exact opposite of that. When the educational system spent a lot more time attempting to drill girls and to bring girls up to the same level as boys, it, simult it seemed to forget that boys also required similar encouragement in order to do well in academic studies and in school in general. So basically, I think the point that I'm trying to get to here um, is that both, unfortunately, Gamergate and the men's rights activist movement are reactionary acts. They're born in a negative space. They, they don't come about as a result of a positive change, or they haven't come about as a result of positive developments. They're born in anger and they're born in negativity. And trying to fight their way out of it is extremely challenging. I do think that the men's rights act, uh, the men's rights activism movement, brings up fantastic points uh, about male homelessness, male suicide. These are all serious issues. Um, but to blame feminism for society at large's failure to acknowledge these issues, um, I think that's misplaced. I think, if anything, feminism has done a wonderful job highlighting um, exactly how much the patriarchy um, weighs down upon men. I mean, these are conversations that we need to have. I, I've always maintained that men need to have a conversation about manhood, but it's a conversation that men need to have with themselves about the nature of masculinity. and. If the societal gender roles are going to change, then we have to try and find a way to work within that. You can't blame somebody else. I mean, let's just do what men have always historically done best and take on some fucking responsibility in the issue and discuss it with ourselves. Now, this isn't a personal jab at um, Felfop Returns. Um, I think he seems like a cool dude. Um, I hope I don't piss him off. I hope I don't hit him somewhere where it hurts. I'm not saying that I think his ideology is bullshit or that he's a fucking misogynist. He's, he's clearly not. I don't think the dude hates women. I don't think I don't think most MRAs really hate uh, hate women. I don't think they do. I just think they see a, they see certain systems where men are displaced and men are dis, disproportionately affected. Um, and they want to do something about it. 
And I think that's fine. I think it's perfectly okay to do something about that. But I don't think blaming and attacking feminism is gonna get it is gonna get it anywhere. I don't think it's a movement that's gonna improve its law by really coming down hard on the feminist ideology. Um again, I'm not scared of feminism. I don't think it's a scary word. Um, most feminists I've known have been really great people. Um, and I've known a few MRAs who have had really great points to raise as well. Um, as for how I would label myself, um, I don't buy into this shit that people like Lacey Green are pushing where, you know, you're not allowed to say the word egalitarian anymore. That's a stupid thing to say. I think if you're trying to push people um, out of that's a that's a whole other conversation but i think saying you're an egalitarian is perfectly okay i really do um anyway this is a short little blurb um back to more regular programming soon i'm ross Dunn. like comment and subscribe